third quarter, you outscored them 37 to 16. Um, well, that's been a big emphasis the last week or so. Just, you know, our second half defense um, has been really bad. So uh, we challenge our guys at halftime. You know, we've been ha having leads and uh, we challenge our guys at halftime just to be better defensively, like to set the tone, take the challenge one-on-one. -on -one. I thought in the first half, they got the ball fast and scored. They, you know, they beat us up the dribble one-on-one. -on -one. And I thought it's in the third quarter, our team really sat down, defended, and took the challenge one-on-one. -on -one. So um, that, that was good to see. Thank you. Thanks, Jamie. We'll go to Andrew. There we go. And we, to follow up on what we talked about pregame about Reggie and this opportunity, he seemed like he was controlled, uh, zero turnovers tonight. I guess, how happy were you to see that when he had that big, that big role, he didn't do too much? Um, you know, very happy. And, um, you know, Reggie, like I said, he's a point guard and um, he really did a good job of catch and shoot, you know, distributing the basketball, but also just, you know, running the team. And um, that's what we expect him to do. He did a great job tonight and just happy for Reggie, you know, just staying ready, um, being a professional. This this team, I mean, Paul George's shooting is obviously above 50 percent on threes this year, but the whole team has ex been excellent from three. How much do you feel like that's sustainable um, over the long term of the season? Because this is obviously um, far and away one of the best shooting teams in the league. I hope the whole season, but uh, we know we're going to have some nights where we don't shoot the ball as well. And um, that's kind of been the trend in the second half of games. Like we come out and we play well shooting the basketball in the first half. And then the second half, you know, our defense is not as good and then we're not making shots. So um, we got to find that balance. And I thought tonight we did that, you know, attacking the basket, getting to the free throw line um, in that third quarter a little bit, but also just getting down here, getting to the paint. And we really did that in the second half. So we want to continue to build off this. Um, uh, going forward, but that's exactly how we want to play, especially to start those third quarters. Thanks, Andrew. We're we'll going to Miriam. Hey, Ty. Congrats, man. Thank, um, thank you. A qu question. Marcus um, obviously had a, had a big scoring night tonight, but he's he, he seems to kind of be staying within himself sort of, and, uh, as he sort of works his way back into things. What do you see from him? Um, just being patient. You know, I know the first couple of games, you know, he was kind of fidgety, you know, when to score, when to shoot. Um, looking forward. I just said, listen, I'm going to run ATOs for you out of timeouts. You know, we're going to get you shots. So don't, you ain't got to press, you know, and the way the ball is hopping and the guys are sharing the basketball, you're going to get open shots. And you saw a result of that tonight, you know, just guys just, you know, getting into the paint, making the extra pass. I thought, you know, we had like six, six times where we turned down open shots, trying to make an extra pass. So um, that's good to see from your team. And when, when the ball is hopping like that, everybody's, everyone's a part of it. Thanks, Mary. We'll go to Tomer. Hey, Ty, congrats on the win. Thank you. Um, Luke has, has looked, you know, a bit passive at times this year, and I guess that's a credit to him, you know, having a year off and being on a new team. But uh, how good was it to see him, you know, aggressive, um, decisive, and also how important is that going to be for you guys? I mean, it was really good. You know, the team's been on him, the coaches have been on him, just about being aggressive, you know, playing your game. And, um, you know, we saw glimpses of that tonight, you know, and that's good to see because we're going to need him. Um, you know, going down the stretch of the season and um, into the playoffs. So we want.